Today truly is a throwback Thursday. What I would give to throw back to the day that my granddaughter walked in my kitchen, my daughter was standing there with me. We had so much fun um, today. No matter what you're facing, no matter what your memories are, there will be some good ones, there will be some bad ones. Concentrate on the good ones and uh, kind of keep the bad ones in the background and, and that will keep you, hopefully, level-headed and getting through whatever you're facing. There's so many people out there who are facing tragedy, who are facing um, the loss of their loved one. I don't like when you see somebody sinking, sinking, sinking. I was that person who sunk and sunk and sunk and I sunk so deep, so hard. I was so afraid that I wouldn't come back and um, if it hadn't been for y'all, I wouldn't have. I would never have made it. Your, your support, your love, your laughter, the crazy things that we have done together, all the good times. I was thinking about all the nights up at the Yellow Jacket and I got out the picture and I looked and there were so many people gone from that. And each person who was there from Laura Abernathy, we called her my wife-in-law because Carl Ed loved me and I loved him and we were just the best of buds. He loved cooking for me, he loved bringing me food. I think about Jim Taylor. He, they lived up at Bent Tree. He would cook and I would get to my office and he would have food sitting there for us. So many of you reached out and made my life so much better, so much stronger, so much happier. And through the days that I faced that not many people knew everything that was going on, there, you know, there was a handful that knew what was happening. And um, there were times, Dawn said it best. She said, Mom, I saw you stand at my sister's casket and I saw you deal with the loss of my brother, and I saw you bury your mama and your husband, but I hadn't seen you broken. And then when I saw you broken, I didn't know how to handle it. It takes a lot to break us, but um, there's a powerful, a powerful man who will bring you back. And you have to turn to him, you have to trust him. Everybody knows I'm a crazy Christian conservative. You know how I think, you know how I vote, you know what I support, you know what I'm against. You can read me like a book and I hope that each of you will pick up this book and you will understand no matter what we're facing, God is gonna show up, he is gonna get you through it. There will be times that you look back and you laugh and you think, God, you were really right on time. You were really right there when I needed you, and I didn't know you were there all the time. There were days that I thought, I will never make it through this. There's no way I can do this. There's no way I'm strong enough to handle it, and I was, and it just blows my mind because I look back now, and I'm like, I let that take me down that far. I let that really destroy me, and I thought, oh my gosh, how close did I come? How close did I come to not being here today? And um, it's very, very scary. It's very scary. So if you're facing something and you need help, reach out and talk to a counselor. I've had so many counselors tell me things that I was like, wow, that makes sense. Wow, that makes sense. You know, um, I, when I was at the Angel Baby store yesterday, I said my life wasn't meant to be. My life wasn't meant to be, and um, my father had set up an abortion for me, and my mother backed out on it, and that was the end of the story. She decided to keep me, and I think about that every single day. Every moment of my life is truly a gift from God. Every moment of your life is a, truly a gift from God, so enjoy every single bit of it, and today, make a difference in somebody else's life. There may be a young mom out there that's facing a delivery of a baby and she doesn't have anybody to support her. If you know a way that you could help out, make a donation to Angel Babies if you want to volunteer. Anything you can do to counsel those that need a little bit of help just to get them through that tough time. And there are a lot of people out there facing tough times right now. Be that supporter, be that person who does make a difference. Even if you're just in the grocery store and we're all fighting these crazy prices, stop and speak to somebody and say something nice. It may just change the way they look at their day and it may change their outcome of their life. So be that person that makes a different difference. And again, pick up my buddy's book, God Keeps Showing Up, and he does. I'll show up again next week, and I hope you'll be with us again right here on ETC. Don't forget, 
We go to YouTube, and all our programs are on YouTube. You can watch them anytime, night or day. And if you're shopping and looking for some really cool stuff, I've got 118 items out of my closet on, on eBay. You can shop till you drop. And that's one of those things we can do once again to give back. I'll see you again soon, only on ETC.